Hey everyone, Red here, we're back with another Reds requested, and today we have the Map Control Demogorgon build, so let's go ahead and break it down. First, we have Skurchuk Pain Resonance. Whenever you hook a survivor on a Skurchuk, the generator with the most progress is going to explode, instantly losing 15% progress. Second, we're bringing in Surveillance. Any regressing generator will be highlighted by a white aura, and if the regression is interrupted on a generator, it will be highlighted by a yellow aura for 16 seconds. And for our third perk, we're bringing in Overcharge. Whenever you kick a gen overcharge it, the next survivor who works on it is going to be faced with a very difficult skill check, and if they miss it, there will be additional loss of progress. On top of that, whenever you overcharge a generator, its regression will go from 75% to 200% of normal regression value over the next 30 seconds. And last but not least, we have Lethal Pursuer. This will allow us at the start of the trial to have the auras of all survivors revealed to us for 9 seconds, and any time a survivor's aura is shown for a period of time, its duration is increased by 2 seconds. Moving on, we have our add-ons today, which is Muse Guts, which is going to increase the total number of available portals and decrease Shred Mist cooldown by 11%. And of course, we're bringing in Lepros Lichen. This is going to reveal the aura of all survivors while traversing the upside down and for 3 seconds after emerging. This of course does get bumped by Lethal Pursuer. So we get a lot of information, quite a lot of slowdown, and overall a whole lot of fun. So make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Alright, and game number one is on Lambkin Lane. It's been a little bit since I've played Demo, so I'm pretty excited to have fun with this build. It's a pretty solid build too, I mean we have definitely some good slowdown. We do get to make use out of surveillance with the build, so I'm pretty okay with that. I haven't gotten to play with surveillance for a while either. Hi, what is going on? Do you think the other survivor came around here, maybe? No. Are we hiding around somewhere? Oh, thank you. I'm really happy that she was actually hiding over here still. That would have been really rough if she wasn't. Oh, unlucky. I was really thinking that we had that right there. Like, there wouldn't have been a problem that we could go up the steps, but I guess not. Alright, what are we doing? Huh. Ah, balance landing. Okay, fair enough. I got one working up to the left. See if we can maybe cut her off here. Kind of. Oh. You are not who I was expecting. For sure. I was really hoping that would break that, but I guess not. Hey, man. Oh, goodbye. We can put this for later. Did she stay down here? She definitely did. Good. I was wondering if she was going to go to the pallet or not, but we managed to snag her here anyways. And there we go. We have two survivors down for the count. We can go ahead and put overcharge on this now, and then we can hopefully hook up. I don't know if we'll be able to hook her up before the gen pops, though, to uh, upstairs. There we go. Yeah, that's fair. I got two downs, but I wasn't able to deny that gen up there. I see. She went over and around. I'm going to see if maybe I can cut her off over this way. Okay, I have one going for the save. We might be able to just play on this uh, chase here then. Definitely don't want to get stuck in this house for too long. Hopefully we can snag this. No, she read it, I think. I guess we got some distance, so we're not too bothered by it at the moment. Ooh, another balance landing. Honestly, if that hook wasn't there, we could definitely play around with that. We have two balance landings. I'm not really positive. Maybe they brought us to Hanfield. I haven't really checked. There we go. Not too bad. Not amazing, but not bad. And up you go. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's take our portal. That way we can make use out of our add-on real quick and just get aura reading on everybody. Okay, there's one. Where are the others? 
You know, I thought for sure that they had tapped that gen, but I guess not. Because it went yellow, I thought, but that might just be because it's uh, changing colors due to the uh, season event. Perks and surveillance in that way. We can play this out. Are you going to drop this early for me? No? Cool. I'll take that. Do I want to chase this? Not really. Do we get lucky if she comes back in? Oh, that works too. We might be able to tag her with the shred. Yeah, just in time. Awesome. We'll go ahead and follow her down. It is a long drop, so it's quite the uh, time waste there. Oh, kind of a weird angle. I think I got the uh, scratch marks mixed up a bit. Oh, well. Let's see where everybody's at. Gosh, we have three in the house over there. We can definitely play off of that house. All right, she's prepping her balance landing, and the other two were just kind of chilling inside. Oh, hello. Maybe she wasn't prepping balance landing. Yeah, that works. We can go ahead and we put overcharge on this. Surveillance will watch it for later, and we should be good to go. We also have the skirt hook right outside again, so we can make use out of that. All right, let's go ahead and get a, another portal down, I think is the call here. That way I can just go ahead and get a little bit more information. There we go. Oh, actually, that actually worked out really well. That is quite lucky for me. On the bright side, we have skirt hooks kind of nicely placed on this map. Where they're not like all in one area. Alright, that person's gonna come get the save, but I wanna see who's over here on my gen. I really don't like playing in these houses, but I also kinda want to deny the gen if possible. Because we have two survivors with balance landing, so. Where are we at? I heard you. Oh, there you are. I'll take that. I mean, this should be a pretty quick chase overall. I can't really see where you're gonna get too much value. Oh, uh, we got the pallet. She's gonna head over to the right. We might be able to cut her off. You know, honestly, I think she's gonna go back upstairs and probably just wait for balance landing. Might be worth leaving the chase, but we'll hold it forward at the moment. I'm still four gens, so. Though they do have progress on gens, I think we can still get some good value here. Yeah, she didn't get too much distance, but definitely not on the side of the map that we wouldn't be playing on right now. For sure. Big risk that we're taking here in doing this. It will be at least her uh, second hook, though. Second stage kind of makes it worth, but again, still pretty risky. What do we got? One inside there, okay. Oh, they actually did a different gen. Please don't finish it. Oh, darn. I was hoping I'd be able to deny that. Yeah, now it definitely wasn't as worth. We're gonna have to look for a nice little uh, shred play here. Ooh, I might actually have this one. Nice little dip to the left. Ooh, you actually got that gen done too, crazy. I didn't realize we got three gens done. Yeah, that was definitely a uh, like I said, definitely a risk there, playing on that side. They had a lot more progress than I thought. Well done. We kind of picked the not, like, not the best areas to uh, play in, per se. Gotta get this pretty quick here if I can. Nice. Alright, we got everyone. They decided to heal up. They can't have any more gen pressure, though. That was, uh, that was just separated pressure that had built up over time, I think. And that's why you never really know how many gens you're really at. Went from four to one real quick. All right, let's at least see where everybody's at. There we all are. Does she make the swap? No, I got both of them over there. There's no gens over there, so I'm not in threat if they stay there. She can just go up there all day. There's a boon inside the house. I mean, I can definitely zone these guys off of being able to go for the save for, like, free. There we go. 
Reassurance. That's fair enough. I can't really go for Ada e there either. She's going to do a balance landing and just get some good distance again. You know what actually I can do here? Since they're all moving around, let's just go ahead and down and put down another portal. And then we will quickly just go right to our left here. That way we can see everybody. Cool. Works for me. And I'm pretty sure this survivor might be out of the game. If not, we at least still have a skirt choke here. I don't think you really get anywhere. This actually plays pretty well. Yeah. There we go. Don't know where they're at just at the moment, but we can at least put a portal over here for now. That way, if they come to this side, we can kind of still play around it. At least we're not downstairs. We're over there healing. I'm only, I only don't have like one person currently accounted for. Ooh. I feel like I should have hit the other survivor, but that's all right. We're going to play around balance landing again, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's just a downside right here. You know, maybe I could swing over that. I could try that next time. Though there probably won't need to be a next time here. Nice pal, son. There's nowhere else really to go, though. It's going to be like one big old dead zone. I see one pal over to our right, but I can kind of zone her off of that, I think. Just make her dance? Cool. Oh, there we are. Okay. Hmm. I should have broken that l earlier, I think. Nah, maybe not. I mean, it's not like it really hurt us. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't get the break. Feels bad. Oh, well. Let's see if we can maybe get this little finish here. She does have balance, so I do have to keep that in mind. Oh, she's on the outskirts. She's not upstairs. Yeah, I can't really mind game this too well. Oh, well, a little mistake there cost me the chase. All right, let's go ahead and look for David real quick. Interesting, not showing up. Maybe the boon they had had Chow step on it? All right, I didn't see David, so... And it looks like she's healing back up there. Fair enough. I guess we'll kind of have to just commit to this chase. There's, I don't know where David's at. He kind of went into hiding. No drop? Cool. Ooh. Really felt like you get it. Come on. Eh, I can kind of do it. It's definitely not the best. There's not really a whole lot she can do from here on, I don't think. Hi. She does have access to Vault. Oh, you had Dead Hard. Must have been the other one who had uh, Balance. I swear she had Balance. Oh, there we go. And now we only have to find Dave. We brought the game back pretty well. I know he went inside the house. I just want to see which way he's going before he gets access to the uh, hatch. There we go. Now we kind of have him out in the open. So, it just comes down to a 50-50 on whether or not he gets hatched or we get hatched. I'm really rooting for us, though. Nice, we got the break that time. And there we go, zone him away. No dead heart, cool. And that is game number one, not bad. Let's go ahead and move to game number two. All right, and game number two is on Raccoon City Police Department. All right. At least we have Lethal Pursuer to start this game off. It'd be kind of a pain. But again, we have our add-on that we can always make use out of. We have them kind of waiting at the moment, it looks like. One spotting us out. They definitely moved, though. Going to the left, okay. we to be a little careful. They, are, they did spawn uh, very separated this game, so. Ooh, there we go. 
that big righty meaty claw getting some good value okay we moved away from this gen and she's the survivor of the toolbox that is pretty good for us oh hi if we can manage to get the survivor of the toolbox down we can definitely like that'll definitely help out our early game quite a lot Anytime that we can deny the uh, gen progress, especially if they've used some of it already, is great. Ooh, so close. That was going to be a hard one either way. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and try and portal in front. Maybe catch her off guard if we can. Oh, yeah. Pretty much a perfect portal there. Don't know how much use we'll make out of it. Oh, actually. Wow. No Scourge Hook, unfortunately. We do have two survivors here. One's already moved away. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and put Overcharge on this. Since I have a lot of pressure right here and we have a survivor right outside, I can definitely get rid of some stuff here. And just apply some slowdown. Do I do it to be cautious? Ooh, where do I go? Oh, there he is. He definitely had a present for me. I was not expecting it. I didn't even notice him, to be honest with you. He gets to go for the vault here. Oh, he's not going for it. That's kind of brave. We can get him here, though. Nice, that hard. I, you know, I kind of told myself that, too. Because he didn't really move when I started doing the other shred. That's right. We can at least play around this. Oh, yeah. He's done. Now, I'm pretty sure we can make him to the scourge hook. We got to go up top, though. There we go. Get ourselves a little bit more regression. Two survivors are still over here. This kind of like the trap that you can get put into as survivors on a raccoon. Because the more you play in this, like, this little main section, I can... I'm Like, currently, I'm chasing, like, three survivors. Or I'm at least a affecting three. Ooh. How brave are we? Very brave. One more? There it is. I like it. Very greedy. Doesn't really hurt me too much, though. Because, like I said, we have everyone over here at the moment. So, they're not going to be able to get a ton done. They're doing pretty well, though. Definitely saving up some resources as well. Did we drop down? We did. Okay. Get this up here for later, and then we can kind of look around. Hello, Dwight. She didn't come back yet. Fair enough. Not really a man I was looking for, Dwight, but you can definitely help me out by getting rid of this pallet real quick. That way I can play over here later. So hoping he maybe dead hard that. Nope. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and get rid of this then. We can slowly chew away at resources. We do have to slow down for it. Okay, there we go. We got one survivor on our portal, one survivor on a gen over there, and him trying to get on another portal. Cool. She's on my gen there. She's a little bit more important. But we can follow this up for a second. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this real quick. He does have dead heart, so I can't really go for a shred. I was kind of surprised he dropped that, though. I was hoping he'd fake it. We can maybe play play on that. Oh, we actually staying on this pallet as well. Oop. There we go. I probably could have caught him with that swing. Playing a little sloppy. There we go. At least here we get a scourge hook, and then we can kind of reassess what we're gonna do. The gen down below has the most progress. I don't think it's like crazy, crazy high up there with progress. We're still on it. And it's the injured survivor. Nice. This works out really well. Okay. No dead heart for her though. Ooh, boiled over. I'm just going to try and get her to uh, literally any close nearby hook. Let's go ahead. Let's get overcharge on this. Put a portal down in this room, I think, would be a good idea. And then let's just see if anyone came back to this gen. 
It doesn't look like it, unless they have distortion. There we go. We got sight on everybody now. You see they're kind of like looking out. You have like one survivor looking out for me. You have one that's kind of crouched over there by the gen. Like they haven't ran bad, but they're very like cautious. Holding it forward, okay. Yeah, I really don't want to play over here. Like, I don't really have a reason to be over here. There's like one gen upstairs. I guess we have two, but no real reason to chase her. Like, going on a long, long chase. Oh, there we go. Unlucky for you, Nia. Where we got? We got one pallet in this room. Uh, it's pretty decent for her. She ran that pretty well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can catch her on the door. Nice. Oh, but it's actually, yeah. It actually worked out really well for her. I still keep feeling like she has a uh, dead heart, though. Because I haven't seen anything else. Maybe light, though. She did get a lot of distance there. Or balance landing. Which would be surprising. You know, last group brought Haddonfield after checking, which was cool. But it's rare to see balance landing so much in one day. Oh, speaking of balance landing, literally right there. Thankfully, though, unlike the other place, we can actually play around balance landings here because we don't have a massive hook that pushes us away from the uh, people dropping down. Can't really go for her. We'll definitely go for uh, her then. Okay. You want to go for it yet? How about now? There it is. Fall back. Good, good call. I like it. <laughs> that is uh, that is some high end greeting. I probably should remove that pallet, but I'm okay for now. The greed was top notch. She literally just sat there and looked at me. Such a Chad move. Hey there, gamer. Can you not? All right, let's go ahead and kick this, but overcharge on it, and then see if we can maybe finalize the down here. Oh, he, did he stay? He did. Hey, man, what's going on? Does he have iron will? He's very quiet. Nice. He thought he was around the corner and safe. And we got a skirt hook right over here, which is even better. Oh, hello. I guess I should have hooked like right beside me. I just wanted the extra regression. Well, she's going to have quite a lot of distance. Is it worth really chasing all the way over here? Probably not. Did we come just to this gen? Yeah, we did. Cool. Okay, we got her going outside. We have her heading back to uh, Vault. I might have been able to have it, but it would have been close. Yeah, definitely better to do that. I might have been able to have the straight shot when she went underneath, but it might have came up just a little bit short. Here we go. Oh man, this gen is almost done. And we have uh, Rebecca working upstairs on the other one. I'm a little ways away with that teleport, but hopefully she doesn't expect it. Oh, she like definitely expected it. That's fine. We'll just we'll let her have top gen. We'll see if we can get something over here then. Honestly, I probably could have chased her instead. But we're giving up one gen either way then. Because then she'll come over here. There we go. Alright, let's come over here and just take our portal. Well. Yeah, we will. I don't want to waste too much. I think they might try and heal up. Yeah. Good. I don't want to leave this gen just yet. I want Overcharge to do quite a bit here. Nice. Dead hard. The dead hards are actually really punishing my uh, shred attacks this round. Feels bad, but it's, it's good use of dead hard for sure. All right. This is a lot harder of a 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of just a lose palette, to be honest with you. You gotta hit the stun and the killer, otherwise it's not even worth using. It looks like they went back onto this gen right here, so... Yep. 
that is surveillance helping us out a little bit. Maybe not. Did they, they might have tapped it and then overcharge it? I wonder why I was highlighted yellow there. Because surveillance should have kept it highlighted white, I believe. Because surveillance does have uh, priority. This is going to be balanced landing. We can just kind of hold forward. There is no other safe out here. And since we get all the aura reading in the world, should be really nice. Okay, she's on the back gen there. And I'm denying this survivor here. Okay, cool. This works out. We can just chase her for a second. The other survivor is going to have to move out from under. It is bounce landing. Okay. I wasn't sure if she had uh, that or life, but it looks like another two survivors with bounce landing. Crazy. You really don't see it that often. Like, not in like, like, you'll see like one in a game, but like seeing more than one is pretty rare. Especially for like back to back games. She's going to have to maybe make the trade here. I could put another portal down, but I think I'm just going to walk it in. She should have dropped this pallet, actually. Goes around. She's getting the save now. Nice dead hard. Let's go ahead and we can tag this real quick. Just to make sure that we don't have to worry about off the record and stuff later on. But she was making a noise, so she probably didn't have it. We'll go ahead and get the hook up now, then. Get a little bit more on the regression. And are, Is this survivor dead? Let's find out. Yeah, cool. And then there were two. Overall, pretty solid games today. I think we can kind of just walk this one in, though. Overcharge really helped out. You can hear that gen by your side. Hello? Oh, it was that. Fair enough. I don't think she was ready for me. And now we just kind of hold forward here. Should we be able to use her uh, balance landing? I don't know if she thought about it then. Works for me. Perfect. And there we go. Game number two down in the books. Overall, the build works out very well. Of course, Overcharge and Scourge like Pain Res are very strong on their own. Everything synergizes pretty well. Definitely make sure to try it in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.